Little could we have imagined when we began this formation year in August of 2019 that it would end the way it has ended. All of us have been dispersed to our dioceses and our communities. Some of us have remained here at St. Mingrid. Nevertheless, we have remained a family, a family of seminarians, a family of graduate students, a family in Christ. This year, our graduation ceremony is necessarily a little different, but the spirit of the thing, the spirit of this ceremony, I believe, remains as true as it has ever been. A spirit that is grounded in the work and the life of our community here at St. Mingrid. And so I welcome you to this virtual graduation ceremony for 2020. Starting in mid-March, school after school across the country and around the world began closing their doors and sending their students home. St. Meinrad may seem like a fairly isolated place, but as you know, the global pandemic knows no boundaries. First, we made the decision to conclude our weekend courses online. Then we informed the seminarians that they were no longer to report to their ministry assignments. Finally, we canceled in-person weekday courses. The faculty were given one week to figure out how best to deliver the content of their courses from a distance. The seminarians had to decide within a matter of days whether to return home or to remain within the restricted confines of a cloistered seminary. In-person counseling and spiritual direction relationships came to an abrupt end. Those seminarians scheduled to graduate barely had a chance to say goodbye. Much of the faculty, administration, and staff have retreated to their respective homes trying to avoid catching and spreading the virus. Some of us were more successful than others in that regard. And then, all of a sudden, things got really quiet on campus. It was really sad to think about how, instead of a proper graduation ceremony, our graduates would have to receive their diplomas in the mail. And then we had an idea. As long as we have to finish classes from a distance, maybe we can celebrate graduation from a distance too. And so without further ado, we would like to proudly recognize all of the members of the class of 2020. The following students have earned the Master of Arts Theology degree. Dr. Carolyn Burgess, Carmel, Indiana. Craig Brummer, Edwardsville, Illinois. Deacon Matthew Coriale, Lexington, Kentucky. Sister Carol Curtis, Ursuline Sisters of Louisville. Amanda DeVries, Des Moines, Iowa. Deacon Daniel Gilbert, Diocese of Grand Island. Sister Roxanne Higgins, Sisters of St. Benedict, Ferdinand, Indiana. Coy Hobson, Evansville, Indiana. Daniel Holland, Morgantown, West Virginia. James Kaufman, Richardson, Texas. Corey Kellner, Louisville, Kentucky. Emily Kopf, St. Louis, Missouri. Joshua Liu, Aurora, Colorado. Brother Basil Lumsden, St. Meinrad Arch Abbey. Deacon Gabriel Mills, Archdiocese of Mobile. William Knoll, Indianapolis, Indiana. Eric Orandi, Glen Mary Home Missioners. Sister Diem Pham, Dominican Sisters of Our Lady Rosary. Deacon Donald Reimer, Beaver Creek, Ohio. Michael Roussel, Elizabeth, Indiana. Jane Rush, Cambridge, Ohio. Matthew Sprower, Pequa, Ohio. Lisa Taylor, Indianapolis, Indiana. Connor Wellman, Louisville, Kentucky. Deacon Luke Yackley, Timonium, Maryland. 
Sister Sarah Youngworth, Sisters of St. Benedict, Ferdinand, Indiana. The following students have earned specialization certificates in particular fields of study. Michael Ahrens, Archdiocese of Louisville. Amanda DeVries, Des Moines, Iowa. Reverend Pedro Fonseca, St. Meinrad Arch Abbey. Daniel Holland, Morgantown, West Virginia. Reverend Wesley Kendall, Greencastle, Indiana. Deacon Gregory Maynerich, Auburn, Illinois. Alejandra Spear Haddad, Bloomington, Indiana. Arthur Turner, Archdiocese of Louisville. Joseph Wathen, Owensboro, Kentucky. Reverend Luke Waugh, St. Meinrad Arch Abbey. Sister Sarah Youngworth, Sisters of St. Benedict, Ferdinand, Indiana. Reverend Matteo Zamora, St. Meinrad Arch Abbey. I just want to say congratulations to all those who have earned degrees and certificates in our graduate theology program. The following students have earned the degree Master of Arts, Catholic Philosophical Studies. Anthony Armbruster, Archdiocese of Indianapolis. Robert Bauman, Diocese of Knoxville. Eston Blair, St. Meinrad Arch Abbey. Justin Farr, Diocese of Nashville. James Huber III, Archdiocese of Indianapolis. Cade McGaffin, Diocese of Salina. Matthew Millay, Archdiocese of Louisville. Kenneth Nairt Jr., Archdiocese of Louisville. Hung Nguyen, Archdiocese of Hanoi. Ethan Osborne, Diocese of Springfield, Cape Girardeau. Eric Willette, Diocese of Manchester. Caleb Scherzinger, Diocese of Evansville. Joseph Schultz, Archdiocese of Mobile. Seth Sloan, Diocese of Lexington. Justin Bobby Vogel, Archdiocese of Indianapolis. Jake White, Diocese of Springfield. Christopher Wickman, Diocese of Evansville. Ryan Winger, Diocese of Amarillo. Eli Yandow, Diocese of Burlington. To all our graduates from the philosophy program, congratulations on your achievement. The following students have earned the Master of Divinity degree. Deacon Francisco Bark, Diocese of Masson. Deacon Michael Bielorucki, Diocese of Toledo. Deacon Peter Cheneke, Diocese of Springfield. Deacon Joseph Friend, Diocese of Little Rock. Deacon Peter Grodi, Diocese of Toledo. Brother Theodore Haggerty, Marmion Abbey. Deacon Paul Kim, Diocese of Busan. Deacon Samuel Mungai, Glen Mary Home Missioners. Deacon Connor Plessela, Archdiocese of Mobile. Deacon Peyton Plessela, Archdiocese of Mobile. Deacon Michael Prakasam Putumai Savari, Diocese of Paliam Kotai. Deacon Dan Taylor, Diocese of Lexington. Deacon Stephen Thun, Diocese of Owensboro. Deacon Daniel Velasco, Diocese of Little Rock. Deacon Andrew Yun, Diocese of Busan. The following deacons have completed all the requirements necessary to earn the baccalaureate in sacred theology from the Pontifical Athenaeum of St. Anselm in Rome. Deacon Peter Cheneke, Diocese of Springfield. Deacon Joseph Friend, 
Diocese of Little Rock. Deacon Peter Grodi, Diocese of Toledo. Brother Theodore Haggerty, Marmion Abbey. Deacon Peyton Plessila, Archdiocese of Mobile. Members of the class of 2020, please know that the faculty, administration, and staff of St. Monred wishes that we could have celebrated your accomplishments in person. Instead, we're sharing our graduation wishes from home. Of course, I want to wish all of our graduates this year luck as they move forward. But there are so many other things that our graduates need, really need, even more than luck. The first one, of course, is faith. Our life of faith is the thing that fuels our ability to move forward in courage and hope with our ministries, whether that be priesthood or the diaconate or lay ministries. But I also want us to be strong. We need to be strong in this time of challenge, in this time of trial. We need to be strong for the people that we serve. We need to be strong for our families. We need to be strong for ourselves. That is my wish for our graduates this year, but it's more than a wish, it's a certainty, because I know these men and women will fulfill the obligation and the challenge that they will receive as they move forward in their lives of faith. Congratulations to the 2020 graduating class. May God bless your ministry. Make us proud, we'll miss you. Congratulations to all our graduates. We have many dear memories of you and you are surely missed. Go forth now to seek God and serve the church. Congratulations, class of 2020. I can't wait to hear where life takes you in the years ahead. Best wishes, and please keep in touch. Whatever good gifts God has given you these last few years, God will give those gifts again to others, now through you. Congratulations, you're a great blessing to the church. I did want to take this opportunity to say how grateful I am for all of you, uh, all of your uh, hard work over the last uh, years that you've been for us, been around St. Meinrad, all the service you provided and all the hard work you provided uh, when it came to understanding theological investigations. And uh, I want you to know that uh, I appreciate your great gift to the church and only wish the best for you for your future. Hola! Class of 2020, I'm so proud of you. Let the sense of purpose that fills your hearts and minds guide you on your journey with the Lord. Congratulations! It's been a joy for me to get to know you. Congratulations on your graduation. We here at St. Meinrad are very proud of each one of you, and we ask God to bless you abundantly in your life and in your ministry. Congratulations on your graduation today. Thank you for sharing your life with us at St. Meinrad for these years. We wish you all the best as you move forward. Congratulations, graduates. May God continue to bless your ministry and service to the world and to the church. Congratulations, God bless you, and please come back to the Hill very soon and very often. Congratulations, everyone. It's been an honor and a privilege to uh, teach you over the years, and I want to wish you many blessings in your future ministry. Growth in your relationship with God and in prayer is a lifetime process, and spiritual direction can help you in that growth. Many thanks for all the ways you've enriched us in our theological community here at St. Meinrad, and be sure to stay in touch. Congratulations, Class of 2020. I got to know most of you at the beginning of your studies, and now here we are at the end. Your perseverance has paid off. Well done. Class of 2020, it has been a genuine pleasure and a privilege getting to know you and contributing to your education. Keep making us proud as you serve the church and the world. Congratulations by your hard work, and sometimes in spite of yourself, you have learned much and have grown in holiness. May you serve God and the church well, as the school's motto says, Sanctitate et Scientia, with holiness and with learning. Congratulations, class of 2020. 
So happy for you, so proud of you, and best wishes in your ministry. Thank you for all that you have taught me about being a disciple. Remember, a theologian is one who prays. We hope that your studies at St. Mindred have deepened your love for the gospel of Jesus Christ. We hope to see you again on or off the hill. Hello to all St. Mindred students. I would like to wish you congratulations on behalf of the Mater Center, and I wish you the best of luck as you continue your journey off the hill. Congratulations on your graduation. We are so proud of you with your great achievement. And may God be praised. May the legacy of St. Mymred shine on through your all good works. God bless you and best wishes with you. The opening line of one of the great Easter hymns goes, The strife is o'er, the battle done. Now is the victor's triumph won. I suspect that at times school felt just like that, a battle. But you have survived. Well, we will not get to celebrate with you publicly. I hope you will at least take a deep breath of satisfaction at your accomplishment. But the world is calling you to put all that you have learned to a good purpose of making the world a better place, a more holy place. And I wish you all the best. Congratulations, graduates. We are so proud of you. We'll miss celebrating with you at graduation this year, but we hope you'll come back to St. Meinrad when you get a chance. We'll be here for you. To conclude our virtual graduation ceremony today, I would like to call upon the chairman of our board of trustees, Archabbot Kurt Stasiak. When you began the school year this past August, you did not expect and none of us expected it to end the way it is. But that's the situation we've been given, and that's the situation we've taken on. I want to congratulate you, our seminarians and our graduate theology students, for your determination to finish in a way that's certainly not the easiest way, and at times that's certainly not the best of times. But you have finished, you've done that in good spirits, and with a good deal of peace and determination. And so I congratulate you. And I offer you my blessing. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And let us go in peace.